Let's discuss the water deficiency dry eye today. Water deficiency dry eye can most likely be because of an autoimmune condition of the eye. Let's see what that is. Water deficiency dry eye is where the lacrimal glands are not producing enough amount of water in your tears. This could also occur due to an underlying autoimmune condition in the body. Rheumatoid arthritis. It is not only restricted to joints and joint pains, it attacks the lacrimal gland, thereby damaging the gland, reducing your tears. Sjogren's syndrome. This is an immune attack that happens both on the lacrimal glands and the salivary glands, leading to both dry eyes and dry mouth. Steven Johnson syndrome caused due to severe drug allergy damaging the lacrimal glands and also the mucous membranes in the eye, causing severe, severe dryness. Ocular cicatricial pemphigoid. This is a condition where there is scarring. There is scar formation in the mucous membrane. So there is scarring in the conjunctiva, the scarring of the tear ducts, thereby causing significant amount of dryness. So your dry eye could actually be your first clue to diagnosing something that is happening in your body. How do we measure water deficiency dry eye? We use something called as Schirmer strips. These strips are placed on the outer corner of the eye and over five minutes, the amount of tears and water that is produced is measured. What is the management of water deficiency dry eye? Of course, the diagnosis of these underlying conditions is most important because management of these conditions leads to a better management of dry eye. One, we need to replenish tears. So we have to keep using artificial tears or gels as substitutes. Number two, we need to hold the tears in place. We use punctal plugs to reduce the quick drainage of tears. Number three, we need to increase the production of tears. So there are certain tablets which are secretagogues which increase the production of the water layer of tears. Dry eyes aren't completely harmless. It could indicate something that is underlying in your body and hence thorough examination and blood tests are required to stay ahead of the disease. Follow us for more such dry eye and eye health related content.